Today we're going to take a look at the 12 inch by 2 inch uni servo free backing hydraulic trailer brake assembly with the Dacromat finish for 5200 pound up to 7000 pound axles and this is the right hand passenger side assembly. Now this hydraulic drum brake assembly is a uni servo and a free backing design and they're used on trailers with surge type brake actuators that have no reverse lockout. And this one also has the nice Dacromat coating over the whole assembly which is used in marine applications because it provides superior corrosion resistance for fresh water or salt water use. Now the uni servo design is the single plunger design here on the cylinder and the free backing design you can tell by the shoe this fall away shoe sort of has a D shape to it. This, this free backing design will let you back up without engaging the trailer brake even if the actuator is activated. The fall away shoe which is the D design right here this will provide full braking when your trailer is moving forward but it supplies only limited friction when the trailer is moving in reverse. The size on this assembly is 12 inch by 2 inch and it's the passenger side brake assembly. The size they, where they get that from is the 12 inch would be the diameter from this pad all the way over to this pad. So 12 inch diameter that way and then 2 inch width on the pad. So that will give you the 12 by 2. So just to show you, if we put the ruler on it, there's your 12 inch. And then there's your 2 inch. So 12 by 2. And again, this is the right hand passenger side. Now to determine what side your brake assembly goes on, of course when you get a new one it'll have a sticker that'll say right hand or left hand. But if you had an assembly that did not have a sticker or any markings, the best way to tell is just to look at the pad on the shoe. If you see the sh see this pad, it goes from here to here. And then you look at this one, it goes all the way from here all the way down to here. So the longer pad, and then this is the shorter pad. The shorter pad is the uh, primary shoe. So that will always face the front of the trailer. So if that's the case you see when it's like this, that would be the right hand or passenger side assembly. So just by looking at the size of the pad on the brake shoe will determine what side the brake assembly is for. Now these brake shoes are lined with a nice automotive grade friction material. This friction material is fully bonded, it's not riveted to the shoes, so it gives you a lot longer life and more braking torque. The lining also does a tapered edge on each end. Nice thing about that is some brake assemblies just cut them off straight and have a 90 degree edge. Here they actually bevel it or taper it and then they do a circular grinding to the pad to help prevent cracking and crumbling that can lead to mechanical lockup. This is a manual adjusted brake so it does require periodic manual adjustment. It does adjust right here using this adjustment gear. Now this one uses a fine tooth adjustment gear so it allows for a more precise setting when you're adjusting it and there's no break in period that's needed following your initial adjustment. When you go to adjust them you just go to the back you'll see the hole down here pop out this plug you can put your tool through there to adjust your gear. The nice thing again with this one is they include these plastic adjuster plugs that you pop in when you pop it out to get to it and when you're done put the plug back in because you don't want dirt to get in your brake assembly. Some brake assemblies will just leave that hole open they won't include those plugs. So you do really want to have a plug in there to protect your braking system. So they'd include the adjuster plug with theirs. If you notice it has the five holes so it's a five fits the five hole brake mounting flange. Now the mounting bolts nuts and lock washers that are needed to attach to the flange. We do sell those separately. Now this assembly is certified by US SAE standards and CSA which are the Canadian standards. The dimensions again are 12 inch diameter, 2 inches wide on the pad, fits 5200 pound up to 7000 pound axles and it is designed to be used with 12 inch brake drums. But that would do it for the review of the 12 inch by 2 inch uni servo free backing hydraulic trailer brake assembly with the Dacromat finish for 5,200 pound to 7,000 pound axles and this is for the right hand passenger side.